Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to use help utilities associated to Linux. But before doing that, I'll suggest you to watch my previous video so it will start making more sense to you. Let's get started. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus T to bring your terminal on the screen. Now remember that in our previous video we talked about ls command and few of its associated tags but what about the rest of them? Don't worry, you can use a command called as help to get the details related to any command in Linux. For that purpose, simply type in a command like for instance I want help related to ls space double hyphen followed by help. So now you can see that you get a documentation which talks about ls and its associated tags and these are the details associated to tags. Another command which you can use for getting help is man which stands for manual space ls. Now hit enter. Now you can notice that there is a slight difference between help command and manual command. In help command you get to see the entire documentation at first place but in case of manual command you get to the top of the documentation and you need to press enter over and over again to navigate to the desired position and get the required detail. So these two commands aren't that user friendly. Type in Q to get out of the manual. Now to clear your terminal simply type in clear. This clears the text or what all is written on your terminal. Now to make help more user interactive we have this command called as info. So simply type in info followed by a space and then the command related to which you want some details. So now you can see that you get this cursor and you can navigate along the screen anywhere and get the desired information. To get out of the info simply press Control Z. So this was all about help and you can use it to get the details re related to any command which is present in Linux. Remember that we had talked earlier about file permissions and I have told you that we'll discuss it later. So wait for my next video and we'll discuss about how to give and access files and how to make them more interactive. If you wish to stay tuned for updates, hit the subscribe button below.